right across from one another. I did get some content for you guys. So I just wanna do a little intro. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed. I'm gonna show you this beautiful window display with some eye candy. And of course, you can follow me on my Instagram as well. It's just DV Double Vanilla. I hope you enjoy this little vlog and I'll see you guys inside. Hey guys, so I thought because it was, first of all, so difficult to film in here, instead of just doing a voiceover and sharing all the these pieces, as you guys watch this vlog and see all the eye candy, I'm gonna tell you about my experience at Chanel. So there's seven different Chanel boutiques inside Paris. I went to four of them. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you which are the best ones to visit, um, where they are, what it was like to get a classic flap because I went last year and last year they had so many classic flaps on display available to purchase. And this time was a very different story now that they're doing the whole quota where you can only purchase two of their classic flaps um, per year. So I'm gonna tell you all about that how long the lineups were because they were crazy the lineups and then what days you should go to I did go different times and where the lineups were better um, so I'm gonna tell you all about that as you guys are seeing all of this amazing eye candy and yeah it was really hard to film so that's why it's kind of so choppy all of the footage but you know, hopefully this will be useful, all this information. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the seven Chanel boutiques in Paris. I am gonna start with the worst one, which is this one here. Um, this one's at 42 Montaigne Street. It is one of the smaller boutiques. I'll get into more reasons why it's not my favorite one. Um, not a lot of stock, several other reasons, but that I would say is the worst one. And then let's start now with the best ones and we'll go from there. So the best one in my opinion is the one on Faubourg Street. It's right at the intersection of Faubourg St. Honoré and Cambon Street. Oftentimes people think this one is the original flagship one, the 31 Rue Cambon one, just because it is on Cambon and Faubourg, but it's not. I do believe this is the largest one I feel like this one it definitely gets a lot of tourists because it is right on Rue Saint Honoré and I think the sales associates are more better equipped and have a better demeanor because they know that there is a lot of tourists um, and I feel like this one definitely has more stock than other, any other boutique I even saw they had a heart bag at this location but again I will get into stock and all of that in a little bit so this I would say is the best one wait lines are going to be long and i will touch on that they'll definitely be long at this location um but they're pretty much long everywhere and i will touch on that in a minute and then after the one on faubourg i would say the next best one is the one on 25 rue royale so that one is just north of rue um, faubourg saint honoré it's less than a five minute walk from the one i just mentioned at faubourg and cambon four of these chanel boutiques are within like a 10 minute walking radius from one another so you can hit up all four of these boutiques now the one at 25 rue royale that one's known as like more of the where the locals go a lot of people have no idea this boutique exists now I, this one i didn't go to so out of the seven i did not go to the one on 25 rue royale but just from what i've researched also because it probably has a lot of stock because so many people don't know that this one exists it's kind of off the beaten path like it's not on a main street it's just north of St. Honoré Street and yeah I think a lot of people don't even know that this one exists so I would say that's the second best one to try for stock etc and then after that one I would say you should go to the Printemps Haussmann Chanel boutique so that is in a department store a lot of people only know about the Galerie Lafayette department store and they don't know about Printemps so that one has 
much shorter wait times, much shorter lines, and that one will probably have like better stock because the ones that are very busy, unless it's the main one on Faubourg Street, um, you know, typically they probably run out of stock really quickly. So I'd say Printemps is a good one to go to. And then after the one on Printemps, again, it's only a 10 minute walk from the Faubourg one. Then I would say is the flagship one at 31 Rue Cambon. And the reason it's lower on my list is because it's chaos in there. It's like upwards of a two hour wait, which is just crazy just to see a sales associate. And that's not including the wait time of waiting outside to just get into the boutique, which is probably like, I think I waited maybe about 20, 25 minutes. Um, and then you'd have to wait two hours for a sales associate. I waited and they said that there was like about 20 people in front of me. Um, I waited for about 40 minutes and there was still about 10 people in front of me. So I left. Um, and then after the Rue Cambon one, I would say it is the one at 51 Montaigne. So again, 42 Montaigne is no good, but the one at 51 Montaigne Street, that's just across the street. It's larger. It's actually quite beautiful, that boutique. It's got a really gorgeous staircase and that one, you know, it's hit or miss. And then I would say Gallery Lafayette um, would be also lower on the list. So Gallery Lafayette is a beautiful department store. I, that's one I did not get to go to yet. And yeah, that one, apparently so many tourists go to that one and there's very long wait lines. So those are the seven boutiques. And then I'll quickly touch on wait times. So when I was at this boutique on Montaigne Street, and I actually went to both of the boutiques at 42 and at 51 Montaigne Street. So the lineups for both of them were just super, super long. After waiting outside, you go in and a hostess greets you and she puts you on the list. And then when you ask her how many people are in front of you, I asked how many people were gonna be in front of me. She said that there was about 15, 10 to 15 people, and that you know it could take about an hour and a half or longer. So the thing is, is that you can browse, but you will have to wait those 10 to 15 people, which the woman at the front, she said that that could be up to two hours. So it's just really long lines. Imagine waiting somewhere for two hours and you can't leave the store. So I said, oh, can I just come back, you know, in two hours or in an hour? And they said, no, once you leave, then you're off the list. So keep that in mind. That was a Friday that I came to this store. Uh, Friday afternoon, so of course weekends are gonna be busy. I would suggest, because I did go to the one on Faubourg Street. The one on Faubourg, I would say, is the best one. I, It's very big, they have a lot more stock there. And that one I went, I believe it was a Monday, and I went fairly early, I think around like 11 a.m. And there wasn't, I'm trying to remember how long the wait was, it maybe was like 30 minutes, but not as bad as like one to two hours. And um, so definitely try to go like on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, try for the morning, you know, and don't go around like from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. because it's just so busy at the time. The Chanel boutiques, they do close at about six o'clock. And then as for, so the wait times were terrible. So crazy busy at Chanel. The, the lineups at Chanel were bigger than the ones at Louis Vuitton, at Hermes, any other store. There was like no other store that I had gone to had a lineup the way Chanel did. They all had lineups, but they were usually like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, not long at all, but these lineups were so long. Um, and that's also in addition to the lineup to get into the store because there is always a lineup just to enter the store. And then for the classic flaps, I asked for a classic flap at every single Chanel boutique uh, that I went to, the four of them, and three of the boutiques said, yes, they have classic flaps, but they only had them in black. Um, and I did see other people asking for classic flaps when they were with their sales associates and they were being shown black classic flaps. Now, with that said, it it's all about timing. Like if some of you guys watched my New York vlog, you will see when I went to the Madison Avenue boutique, they showed me so many classic flaps. I think in that video, I showed like more than 10 classic flaps 
really coveted colors and it was just a coincidence that they had gotten a lot of them in I guess on that day within those days that I had been there and they had a lot of stock so I guess when I've been here in Paris there just hasn't been a lot of stock or they go super super fast I think the demand for classic flaps has really shot up because I think people believe that they're going to start doing the way Hermes does where you can't just walk in to get one you have to maybe have a purchase history or start purchasing you know more items like you know shoes jewelry etc now we don't know if that's going to happen but I think a lot of people feel like that might so everyone's just trying to buy classic flaps right now and um, yeah so I was really surprised like I really wanted to try on a medium classic flap I would have been happy to try on a small classic flap no they only had black um so if you are after black then maybe that's a good thing and again if you go to paris you might have a completely different experience where they do have a lot of these items so i hope this was helpful obviously my experience at chanel was not great um not just because they didn't have a lot of stock and also the other items they didn't have a lot of stock of anything um service wasn't the greatest they were quite I would just use the word rude like they weren't friendly but those are just these overall like the associate I had wasn't the friendliest but for example I did see I was like you know watching how they were with other people I was browsing a lot and looking around a lot and I got that vibe from a lot of other people like I saw other tourists and even I they were speaking French so I assume locals and they were not getting good service they seem annoyed with the sales associate the sales associate was being very short with them um, in the experiences when I went to all four of those boutiques so keep that in mind um, and that's you know again you might get really lucky and get a great sales associate but just from my experience that's been my experience unfortunately the customer service at chanel has not been so great but that's my paris experience at chanel i do have some other amazing vlogs coming up at chanel with a lot more eye candy i just have to go over the footage i did do a little outro while i was outside of the boutique so i will include that in this video <laughs> They have these gorgeous brushes, and they also have clothes. All right, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I'm not